What is going on, all you people of the internet who are crazy enough to click on this video that had this face as a thumbnail? My name is Luke, and I hope you enjoy this video. So, let's get right into it. Okay, before we start this video, I'm gonna put this right out here and like kind of clarify things right right away. So I know I said I'm not gonna do all these relationship kind of videos, but you all really loved my last relationship video and the one I wanted to do today can't really do on a weekend, so I'm gonna have to make the next week's video. So I just decided that I should ask some people what they wanted. I asked all the people who had me on Snapchat what they wanted, and this is what I got. So we're just gonna do it. Let's go! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so my previous video that I did about relationships, or guys, or girls, or dogs, cats, whatever you want to do, was on, like, things that you need to do to get a guy to like you. So I was thinking, why don't I kind of do something a little bit different like that, because something around that, I don't really know what I'm trying to say right now. But I decided that I was going to ask you guys, and you guys said you wanted things girls do that guys hate. So for the sake of me being stupid, and possibly giving you guys, whoa, ha ha ha, and possibly giving you guys, the not so smart answer, which could end up getting me in trouble with many of my friends that are girls, and yeah, that's just not gonna work. I'm gonna look it up online again, cause that's all you gotta be able to do. So here we go, let's look it up. Okay, so I found a website, and it's called RevLove RelationshipKnowledge.com. Now, don't ask me, but like relationship knowledge, I have that. I mean, I have that, but we're gonna read it anyway, so let's read. All right, so the very first topic that they say is nagging. And they say, guys hate it when a girl nags on them too much. He dislikes it when she keeps checking up on him, complaining to him, and acting demanding. He wants his own space too, and doesn't appreciate her breathing down his neck. Now, I agree with the very last sentence. I wouldn't want someone breathing down my neck either, because I feel like, in a way, someone could think that's sexual. Like, you're just like, hey, baby. But honestly, it's not. So, I mean, if you're going to breathe onto my neck, you might as well back up like 7,000 steps, get over there, and get out of my bubble. Because if you're able to breathe down my neck, you're too close to me. Now, second off, nagging, I understand nagging is bad. My girlfriend doesn't really nag me. And I honestly can say any girl I've ever liked or any of my friends who ever had a girlfriend, their girlfriends haven't really nagged them. And that's mostly something my mom does, and she nags me a lot. So, I guess nagging, yeah, I guess that works. Let's next one. Number two, take them to... Taking too long to get ready. This one says, when a guy tells a girl that he will pick her up in five minutes, he expects her to be ready by then. Honestly, let's. Uh, we're going to talk about this one for a second. Yes, everyone hates that you have to go there and you say you're going to be there at 7 o'clock and you end up leaving at 9. But you got to think ahead. If you're going to pick up your girl at, like, let's say 7 o'clock. If you say you're going to pick up your girlfriend at 7 o'clock, you might as well be a little bit late anyway. I mean, you got to be fashionably late. Like, if I'm going to be the next freaking fashion model, Kristen Stewart... No, oh, she was in Twilight, she wasn't a model. Pretend she was a model. If I'm gonna be the next fashion model, Kristen Stewart, and I wanna go out and look amazing for my man, because I'm the next Kristen Stewart, I'm gonna like take as long as I possibly can, because one, I gotta be fashionably late, two, I gotta make sure my eyeliner is on fleek, I gotta make sure my eyebrows just are also on fleek, I gotta make sure everything is perfect. I wanna walk out that door, make my boyfriend, since I'm Kristen Stewart, fall backwards, kinda just, kinda like, Oh, bad idea. Ha! Okay, I thought that would be really funny, and then as I started following, following, following down, I realized that that was a very bad one. So as I was saying, I'm Christian Stewart. I want to make my boyfriend stand at the end of the driveway, fall down faster than Edward Cullen would if you were to, like, stake him with a wooden stake. Even though that's not how you, he dies in the movie, he does never die. But anyways, that's what I want him to do. So if you're going to be late, and you want your guy to wait, do it. God, that made no sense at all. <laughs> if I'm gonna take my girlfriend out to eat at a wonderful restaurant, spend all my hard-earned money that I've earned dragging three-year-olds across the pool and almost drowning them every single day to McDonald's, the McDonald's across the street. If I'm gonna buy her 10-piece Chicken McNuggets and she's not gonna eat that 10-piece Chicken McNuggets because she's worried about keeping her figure, yes, I'm gonna be a little upset because I don't make a lot of money. But anyways, I understand the not eating. You should be able to eat in front of anyone. So if you're gonna go out on a date with a guy and you're too scared that you're gonna eat in front of him because it's gonna make you look fat, or you're gonna eat in front of him because it's gonna make you look sloppy. I mean, he's over here chowing down those chicken McNuggets like it's nothing and just making himself look sloppy, so you might as well join in. I mean, people like it when you're the same. So just join in and eat those chicken McNuggets. Just take about, take about six in each hand. Wait, there's only 10. Buy a 20 piece, take about six in each hand, shove them in your mouth, and say, try and talk to him. Be like, look, I can do the Chubby Bunny Challenge, but with chicken nuggets. Boom, you've won him over, you're dating, it's perfect. He no longer hates that you don't eat. Perfect. Number four says being high maintenance. Now, high maintenance, 
I don't really understand the meaning of high maintenance, but this, what it says, is it says like, needing constant attention. Now I'm gonna be the first one to tell you I need attention. So I guess most guys out there are always like, man, all my chick ever wants is she just wants to text me, she always wants attention. And like, I'm trying to hang it with the boys, I'm trying to kick it back with the boys. And she keeps texting me, and I mean, She's texting you because you guys are a thing. So girls, if you want to put a tracker in the back of your man's head because you're dating him and you want to know where he is at all times and wants to know what he's doing because he's not giving you enough attention so you can go show up and ask for attention, do it. I mean, I would. So according to this website, the last one, number five, is spending too much money. So apparently this says that guys don't understand why girls can go out and spend $400 on a backpack, but this doesn't make any sense. So yes, guys hate when a girl can go spend $400 on a backpack, but when the girl gives you a birthday present, it's just a little keychain that has your name spelled wrong. So instead of L-U-K-E, it's just L-U-C. Yes, I would hate that. But then again, you can argue for the other way of point. Because I'm a guy and I spend probably more money than any other girl I know. Because like, yeah, I'm not going out and spending $400 on a backpack, but I'm the one who wants to buy a $600 giant sofa that I can put in my room just to sit on it because I'm tired of sitting in my own bed. I spend like $12 a meal, or I'm spending money on video games, or I'm spending money on just stupid stuff. So yes, girls spend a lot of money on clothes and guys hate that, but then again, guys, we also spend so much money. So yes, this video was way everywhere. If I, if you're watching and your brain just did not understand, I am so sorry because honestly, my brain didn't understand any of this video. I got that stuff from that website and I have the next couple of videos. They're planned. They're really fun and they're going to be pretty easy to do. So we won't have to worry about this not being able to work video kind of day thing happen again. I hope you guys really did enjoy. If you did, give it a big thumbs up or a thumbs down if you did not. And anyways, my phone's going off. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye-bye.